Hey guys, it's Bain Singh YT here and welcome back to a Sims 4 starter home build. I'm very excited because we've actually never done a build in the Sims 4 on this channel. And we're doing a lot of the scenarios at the moment on the channel, like we've been doing the aliens on my parents and Jiminy Toddlers. We're having a lot of fun with that, but it just sort of requires us finding some houses on the gallery, which is all well and good. But I just thought it'd be fun to actually have a go making my own uh, starter home in the Sims 4. And I honestly have not built in the Sims 4. Like I'm not even exaggerating that. I think that potentially we did like an ABC baby challenge like way back when, but I think I got that off the gallery and I think I just made like renovations. Like I didn't build anything from scratch, but I just thought it'd be fun to do a starter home for $20,000. Um, I know that you can get different starter funds in the Sims 4. Um, I don't actually fully understand the amounts off the top of my head. I haven't really explored it much, but we'll just do a $20,000 build. I just want to make something that's going to have everything we the Sims going to need. Um, and I also want to sort of focus on having a little bit better stuff in terms of like, like a decent bed, um, like a decent TV for fun, that sort of stuff. Um, because I find those things are stuff that I really appreciate in my gameplay because like, you don't want to have to just make it more difficult with your sim sleeping for like a million freaking hours because they have a horrible bed and like not being able to get their fun up. So I don't know. Those are things I'll sort of focus on, but we'll get started. So I haven't, I know the build mode in the Sims 4 is a lot easier than the Sims 2 and all that sort of stuff, which is going to be exciting. So I really can't wait. So I'm not really stressed too much about trying to make it look good. I just want to make it sort of, you know, functional, you know, a bit of, bit of um, a nice functional space. So maybe we could do like a little cheeky entry. Maybe we'll do a three tile wide entry. I'm just sort of trying to keep it a little bit. Oh God, I don't know what I just did. Keep it a little bit um, separate from the, you know, sort of rest of the house. So, and then, I don't know where, so this, oh yeah, we've got like a little lake thing there. And what else have we got around this world? So we're in Newcrest. Um, There's probably another block here. So. I don't know. I feel like maybe you'd want to have your living area potentially sort of near the back of the house. Like you probably don't want it here. You probably want to look out at the little river. So maybe we could do like a living room over this side. And then I'm just trying to figure out how big to sort of make this all. Maybe that that's a decent sized living area. That's a very decent sized living area, actually. Maybe that's a bit too big. Uh, maybe we'll go that. And then we also want to have a kitchen. So we could have a little kitchen sort of area. I don't know if we want to do it too open plan. I sort of do like the idea of sort of compartmentalizing it a little bit. Um, I also want to have a dining room potentially. We could have like a little dining table in there or something along those lines. And then we're also going to need to have a main bathroom and a main bedroom. So let's do bedroom. Um, I always struggle to work out floor plans and that sort of stuff. How about we do bedroom here? Like that's a very decent sized starter bedroom. And then what about actually what about ensuite? Like, do we want it to be an ensuite or do we want it to be a main bathroom? I feel like an ensuite's fine because if you want to expand this house, I'm sure you could do it like a little main bathroom or something. And then we could do bedroom here. Interesting. And then this could be like a little courtyard area. I thought that could be kind of fun. How are we looking so far? So we're at $5,000. Yeah, that could be a nice courtyard. Um, I don't know if we need to put anything down, like any like floor tiles there to, to, to differentiate that. Um, oh, okay. So there's a lot of, um, I have all the packs at the moment. Um, I've been sort of just been buying them as they come out, which I know is, which is exciting. I love that and I'm blessed, but I haven't really explored them that much. So I don't really know the items that well. So you have to sort of bear with me um, while I sort of see, can you not like make this taller? Like I'd really love to make this taller cause I, it's like really hard to see everything. I know that these have got quite affordable, like seasons has like quite affordable um, doors and windows and stuff like that. One of the recalls, I really just, I'm sorry. I hate the swatches. Like you can't, sorry. like. It's so frustrating because in the Sims 2, the swatches, it has a photo of what the actual item is or the color or whatever. This has got these weird, like two tone things. But then when you hover over it, for example, like it doesn't really make sense. Like I get it. But when you look at this, like the main part of the swatch is black. So you think, oh, that's going to be a black one. No, it's just got a black trim. The main color is white. Like, I don't know. They've just done it really weird. Um, so yeah, I really don't like the whole swatches thing. I'm not going to sugarcoat it at all. 
um, definitely needs to be more like The Sims 2. But that's a nice color, honestly. And then we've got some nice windows there too. Um, and then I think we could, oh, I thought you can do curved walls. That is so cool. We love that. All right, let's get an arch. Wait, where are the arches? Is that an arch? Why am I in the wrong category? Or do we literally only have like, what, one arch to choose from? Is that a joke? Like, I think I've done some, I don't know, have I? Oh, I'm in the curved wall. <laughs> Sorry. I knew I did something wrong then. I was like, what is that? Um, let's get a nice archway. Let's do, yeah, that one's kind of nice. The double sort of a bit wider of an arch and that's like a nice oak color. Cute. Okay, and then we need to pick some internal doors out as well. These are kind of cool, simple plain door. Do we have like an oak color? That's all I really want. Okay, they do light oak there. Nice, I think we'll definitely have a, um, what's it called, like an archway going into that area. Um, can I swap the handle around? Oh, we can, I love that. You see, we need that in the um, Sims 2. Trying to swap the handle around is a bit of a nightmare. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then let's pick a nice, I wish we could like filter by like archways. Cause like, I don't want to scroll through and find freaking arches. It's just a bit silly. So that's a nice one from Eco Lifestyle. I kind of think that's kind of cool, but is it a bit much for a very small space? Probably a bit much for a small space. Let's get something a bit plainer. Just one of these sort of archways. Um, nice. That's quite in the middle there. All right. Let's get some windows going. And then, well, as I said, Seasons has got some pretty nice ones. That's not Seasons, sorry. That's um, Snowy Escape. Yeah, these Seasons ones. The Snowy Escape ones are kind of cool. Oh, you can place windows in any height in this game. Oh, I love that. I really do like these. I don't know. What vibe are we going for with this house? Are we going for modern? I mean, we've picked, like, not very modern doors. So, potentially, we need to change it up. Because I kind of want to do a modern one just for a bit of fun. All right, let's get a cool new front door because I think that was a bad choice. So that's very bouge for such a small house. So we might not, uh, might not do that. These are kind of cool, but then I think that's more giving like a, a door, like out to the patio or something. Don't you think? Wait, where did the, what? That's not the one I clicked on. Was it that one? I'm so confused. Um, what was the one I, I just clicked on? I've like actually gotten confused. I don't know. I'm very, very just very not with it today. Yeah, I don't know. I, I do want, I do want to do like a nice double sliding door out to the backyard. I that could be very nice. Um, oh, see, these are so cool. Some of the stuff in this game is very cool. Honestly love it. Okay. There was, where were the French doors that I just had? Or was it these? Oh, it was them. Okay, sorry. Oh my God, I was having a moment. Yeah, there we go. Some nice French doors out to the back. And then we need a front door. We're getting a bit distracted. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll just go with that one that I saw. Yeah, this one. But then you shouldn't have glass front doors. Like that's a security issue. I don't like that at all. Um, What about... What about these like really, really basic ones? No, they're, they're giving like internal doors. So no thanks. Um, what about a single, okay. Why don't, why is picking a door so difficult? Really would just love to know. Oh, oh, that is such a nice door. What the hell? What are the recolors? Okay. Can I look at the recolors like in, yeah. Okay. This is better. Cause it's a bit small. Oh, that is stunning. I feel like I need this in real life. <laughs> Um, I actually kind of like the default one. I don't know if, I don't know. Are we, are we liking going with like a very modern kind of design? I feel like we've now kind of, we need to change up these doors. They're not very modern. So maybe we need to, I think we'll do a modern build. I feel like that's kind of fun, but also I'm not like a style expert. So don't shoot me if it's like not really that modern. <laughs> um, yeah. Do we have any sort of modern doors? Oh yes. That's very modern. Love that. Do we want to go for... Yeah, that's kind of, it's very dark in here. We've got to get some lights. All right, there we go. Let's get some windows and lights because this is getting a bit dark. Okay. I really, really like these ones. Like for the like lounge room, like, oh, 
stun in. I just want to do like that. Just let so much light into that room. Nice. And then, I don't know, would you have windows here? I want to really do it crazy with the windows because I love a good window. And then for the bedroom, I feel like you wouldn't want to have like a full height window. I feel like you'd maybe want to have these. These are kind of similar. Like I think these are a good alternative. And then I feel like, yeah, this is like a courtyard. So like, do you really want um, windows here? You'd have to have curtains. All right, we'll get curtains. It's fine. Okay, let's get some bathroom type mirrors. Um, not mirrors, wow. Windows. Um, do they have any like small peephole windows? They've got that, but I don't really, doesn't really tickle my fancy. Um, that'll have to do. And then, I don't know. I kind of want something like maybe we could have above. Maybe that could be like the dining area. And then we could have the kitchen. Actually, no, no. The kitchen should be here. And then this should be the dining area, I think. What do we think? I think that'll be good. All right, let's, what, what was that window, wasn't it? Yep. All right, so we need to get some nice windows at the front here. And then maybe just on the side, and then we'll have like the kitchen along there. I think that's a good decision. Okay, let's pick some flooring out. Oh, lots of new stuff. All right, so definitely timber floors. We love a good timber floor. All right, so I just wanna do a nice light sort of oak um because i feel like the light will look a little bit more modern that's kind of cool this one's nice limber lumber traditional hardwood and then what's the difference slightly bigger okay well, maybe we'll go slightly bigger boards can never really go wrong with that and then i don't know tbh in real life okay i'm not really that much of a fan of carpet but like that's because i had a bad experience with carpet like when like when I was a kid, we had really disgusting carpet. It was like disintegrating and like, and then we got it ripped up and then looking under the carpet was just like disgusting. Like the little matting under it had just like turned to sand and like, ugh, it was not good. I know you can get good carpet obviously nowadays, but we ripped up all our carpet at our house and replaced it with floorboards. And I don't know, I've just never really liked carpet since then. Um, let's pick some nice tiles. I kind of want to turn, can you turn off the grid? Is it G? Yeah, I don't know. I just, it's just very, I find it so busy and it literally hurts my eyes sometimes. So I might turn that off. Let me know what you guys think. I don't really mind if you want me to leave it on. I know some people actually prefer it off. So that's fair enough. Um, liminal stone. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, maybe what are some recolors there? Yeah, I really, okay. I really don't like being able, not being able to freaking, oh. Are you kidding? I don't want to do this tiny little, I feel like squeeze my head in like this. to see the tiny little pissy icons. Okay, we'll do that. That's nice. All right, this is fun. I'm having so much fun doing a little cheeky modern build. Um, This back door is just not working, by the way. I don't know why. I was trying to go a bit more like, I'm changing the style as I go, guys. I'm making it up as I go. So just <laughs> leave me alone. All right, let's get a little bit more of a modern back door going. Oh, sliding door. Oh, wait, they make sliding doors. Let me, oh, they're pretty big. I know they make some smaller ones. I just can't see them right now. Um, That's a sliding door, is that? Frosted glass, simple double door. Um, okay, I don't really want frosted glass. I want normal glass. Um, Oh, that's cool. Double door. That's kind of cool. I think that's kind of fancy. We're going for a very wooden theme. Typical, you know, I always do like a nice oaks and all that sort of stuff. That's my favorite. Uh, let's get some of my little favorite lights in, my little subtle saucer light. And they, all the YouTubers that I watch use the subtle saucer light because it's just so good and we love it. So, or super subtle, sorry, it's been sized down. Um, where is it, by the way? I would love to, yeah, here it is. Super subtle saucer light. Can I do like a top view? There we go. Um, let's do a couple because I want it to be nice and bright. And then, oh, why can't I put anything there? I literally haven't put anything in this room. Okay, the light will just go there then, no worries. This is a very decent sized bedroom actually. I don't know if we, not all of it. All right, we'll do two lights in each room just because you never have too much natural light. Okay, and then let's also pick some wallpaper. We can obviously go back and add some cool, um, like, you know, detail and like paneling, that sort of stuff as we go. 
is so where are the basic wallpapers? So I'm assuming paint. Yeah, that's when I, when I say wallpaper, I mean just like a basic paint. Do you have like a basic white or how do you, sorry, how do I paint the wall? As you can tell, I'm very new at this. Um, wait, how do you do it? Hold down the shift key and click to, that's what I'm doing. Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry, I was clicking on the same, I was clicking on the basic drywall, sorry. Oh my God, anyway, lol, oopsie. Basic pastels, basic standard. Is there just like a friggin' white? I'd love just a basic white. Pure expression. Is that a white? I don't know. I would love a skirting board. We do have a lot of skirting boards in Australia. Is that a... <sighs> I can't find quite what I'm looking for. Stucco. Oh, ooh. that's nice. We could go for a very sort of warm earthy kind of look oh don't mind if i do um maybe we'll change it up though in the different rooms we can always make it slightly different i love the stucco that oh oh sorry i'm getting very excited i'm really liking these wallpapers i haven't seen these before oh i love that you could do like a very like concrete like oh sorry i'm getting really excited why am i <laughs> what is with these noises sorry um Oh, oh, plaster. Okay. Oh, yeah. So they've got some basics. You just kind of got to fish around for them. Um, I don't know. It's This is kind of hard to navigate. Like, I feel like some of these look so similar. Why can't you just have them all in one? I don't know. I know that, like, I watched Deligracy as well, and she made some custom content of some, like, basic wallpapers. So it must be an issue in the game that they don't really have, um, you know, enough basic kind of wallpapers. Basic pastel. I want to have a nice colorful bedroom. So could we do like a warm, is there like a warm sort of tone that we can put on the wall? Not really. Let me pick something off camera. Honestly, look, I'm just going to go with the stucco. I'm really liking it. Like, I think we'll just keep it simple. It is a starter home. So, you know, we'll keep it, keep it basic. Um, okay. What do we want to do for the bathroom? So, I think a nice light kind of white-ish bathroom would look good in this space because we've got a lot of color and everything out here. So just something sort of a bit plainer would be nice. Um, I don't really have, like, can I feel, is, where's, where's the filter? Like why can I not, why can't I, oh there, sorry. Okay, I was like having a moment. I just want to filter by like white and see what comes up. Um, I don't really, um, F with any of these, not going to lie. I'm really not liking any of these. That could be nice, but then I don't know if that's just looking a little bit like, you know, hospital, hozzy stay, you know, as Kathy Kim would say, it's giving hozzy stay. Um, yeah, it's not quite what I'm looking for. And that's just a bit over the top. So that what, that stone, are they, are they different colors? Oh, nice. They do have different, you know, colored mosaics. Hmm, much to think about. Yeah, I don't know. So far, that's kind of just like, just really play. Oh, subway tile or like not subway tiles. Sorry, like chevron tiles. Yeah, maybe we'll just do that. Keep it simple. Okay, I'm pretty happy with everything now. We need to also pick a wallpaper for outside actually before I forget. So what have we got? Paneling, we've got tile, no thanks. Rock and stone, masonry, siding. What do we want to do? Let's pick a bit of wall. It's not quite got too many windows so we can get a good view of what it's going to look like. Um, sorry, why can't I just paint the whole house? Like I know it's done by rooms, but like still, it's a bit silly. What about just a nice, oh, you know what? This would be so nice as like a feature wall, wouldn't it? Like the paneling, like, oh, sorry. I'm getting really excited. <laughs> These are really cool. I actually just like the white, not going to lie. Yeah, let's just do, what about a white feature wall there? That's kind of cool. That's a bit different, unusual. Um, anyway, let's pick, <laughs> let's actually pick something cute outside. Um, siding, masonry. Ooh, it's kind of cool. Solid concrete, bit of solid monogamy. Sorry, I'm just quoting so much Kath and Kim. It's because it was all I've been watching at the moment. I've just had it on the background while I'm doing like assignments and stuff and it's becoming an issue because 
now I'm talking like them. <laughs> Lol. Anyway, yeah, I quite like the solid concrete, but I just, I kind of was picturing something a bit whiter and that's kind of the lightest it goes. So it's more gray. Whereas the inside's really earthy. So that doesn't make sense. So unless we went with like something like this. I don't know. I get the theme we're going with. So I'm not that mad. What about we change up the color of this front door? I think a darker front door would be nicer. I also just realized that these don't match. Um, so that's going to be a problem. What if we lightened? Okay. What if we did lighter windows? How would that look? Or what about, what about darker windows? Like what if we just went black? Ooh, I'm kind of like the black. What do we think? Oh, why do they keep changing spots? What the hell? Or am I just having a moment? I don't know. Do we have black in these? Yeah, I think this is a nice contrast. It's definitely giving earthy and I love, love like earthy colors in a house and it just feels so warm and inviting. Like I just love it. All right, I'm happy with this actually. Yeah, we'll just change all of these. Sorry, riveting content guys. <laughs> Okay, that looks much nicer. I really like that. Okay, we can start furnishing now. I'm so excited. So we're 21 minutes in and then we'll do a bit of landscaping out the back and all that sort of stuff. So let's get started. So what's going to be the easiest to do first? I just, maybe we'll start with the bedroom just because obviously I'm a bit of a um, building virgin. So we'll just get into it. How much, how are we going for money? So we've got $7,000. We're doing pretty good. So we've got about 13,000 to furnish. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, okay, we'll get rid of this filter. Yeah, I really, sorry, like we really need to get some sort of mod. Um, there probably is that makes this like double height because like this is, I'm used to the Sims 2 where I can make it like go a bit bigger. All right, I want to get a decent bed. So this is sort of the cheapest bed. It's uncomfortable. We don't want that. Um, we definitely want something that's got discomfort relief. This is quite a nice one. How does it look in the scheme of the room? Interesting. I actually, I'm picturing a black framed bed in this room because we obviously got black on... Oh, like that, but I don't like the bedspread. See, this is why I wish we had separate swatches. Like the bedspread's nice, but it doesn't go with the theme. It doesn't team with the theme of the room. Okay. So I'm not happy. Um, I'm now bed. It's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, I really like that. That's really cool. I've got like a, a bed like that with like iron, like slats and it's, oh, it's really cool. I love that. Cause I live in a, I live in a valley. Or like, I don't know, it doesn't get much sun. We live near a rainforest and it's like a bit of a valley. So we get like very, we get mold. <laughs> so um, I have to have something that's got air circulation. I'm very all about that, you know. Open up all the windows, get some natural light. Like anyway, sorry, a bit of bait and law there. Um, yeah, I think we actually might stick with that because that's honestly the nicest one that I've picked out. Oh, what about this? Does this have a darker frame? Mm, no, we'll, do, we'll, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Okay. Is there like a matching side table? What bed does this come with? T traditional tatami bed. Maybe in like a snowy escape one. I actually can't even see where we've got it from. Um, Where is this bed that we just got out? Why does every, is everything keep moving or am I just having a moment? I think I'm having a moment. Um, No, there it is. Yeah, what's well, snowy escape? I guess, right. I'm so smart. Um, <laughs> Okay. What if I filter by snowy escape? Because there might be a matching, um, what's it called? Side table. So let's go packs, snowy escape. Oh, quite nice. Yeah, those are really nice. Do they have, I'm assuming they've got a black. Yeah, that matches. Very nice. Do we want to do like a cool sort of feature something on that back wall? Because I love that. I love a bit of that. So because we've obviously done the feature wall here. We'll pick something different, maybe. We'll get rid of Can these filters not stay on when you swap between categories? I guess it's helpful. I appreciate it, but it's also kind of annoying. What about a darker? Oh, a bit moody. Getting a bit moody in here, aren't we? I don't quite like the tone of it. Don't like the tone. That's kind of cool. I'm having so much fun discovering all these cool items. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's a lot of vertic like vertical lines now. I think it's just a bit much. What if we did... Hmm. What about this? I don't know. Can we do like a different color? A different color. That's 
kind of interesting. Nice, different, unusual. Um, oh, that's not quite what I want. What about... Oh, it's just a lot of vertical lines. What about this stucco? But what if we did a different color of the stucco? Like what if we did a white on there? Oh, it doesn't quite look right. Let me pick something off camera. I actually quite like this. What if we, what about if we did this in here as well to keep it a bit more moody? And not moody, sorry, earthy. Maybe. I don't know. Or do we, did we, did we like the white? It doesn't even have to be white. It could just be like, I feel like this is a nicer one, that color there. Because then it's sort of, see, it's like similar, but it's just a little bit muted. So it's not as in your face. What do we think? Hmm. Much to think about. Um, why is this so difficult? Why am I just not settling? There we go. Oh God, what, see, what am I doing? I'm like painting a million things wrong right now. Can I copy that? There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna leave that. I think that's good. Okay, let's keep going with the bedroom because we've kind of just abandoned that. What else do we even, what else can we even put in a bedroom? So we've got dresses. They do have like built-in ones that came with like dream home decorator and stuff. So we could do something like that, but I think that's a bit, how you going? Oh, this is like a custom content one that was like put into the game. That's so cool. Oh, they're nice. Some of these items are so nice, like the ones that the like community builds. Like they're just oh, chef's kiss. We love it. That's kind of interesting too. Why? Sorry, why can't I put that there? Like I would love to just put that there, but I guess I guess not. Um, and why can't I put it here? What are you doing? What is going on? Do I need to move this door? This door is just causing me issues, um, and I'm not happy. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I actually kind of like the first one I picked out. Ooh, this one is like, I think that might go with, oh, it's very big though. It's a bit bulky. This is a little bit nicer for the space, I think. Oh, there's a lot of cool colors. Is there just like an oak sort of timbery one? Cause that's, that would just be amazing. Um, oh, there's a lot of colors. Well, wow. Really like any of them sorry not really what i'm going for i have these dresses as you can see behind me there they're very handy from ikea um i don't know something like that but then it just seems like it just doesn't i don't like how we've laid this room out it's just not giving it's just not giving what it needs to give i think we need to move this door i think this door is just causing me some issues so i think we need to move it to the corner there okay and then i think this is a better spot for like a wardrobe okay i'm happy with that but i'm also not really happy with it um oh this is really annoying that dress is kind of cool is there any cool recolors anything different no it's different unusual not really um oh that's a really nice dresser but it's a bit i just don't know if it's a bit big for this house Oh, I love the Art Deco kind of look about it. Oh, <laughs> oopsie. I meant to recolor it. Oh, wow. Those are some nice swatches. Yeah, I think that's cool. Oh, look at the reflection there. Oh, what a nice detail. Um, do we have any cool, like, hanging plants? Out of curiosity, I actually don't know. Um, lighting, indoor plants. Is there, is there, sorry, is there a plant category? I'm just really confused because like build and buy modes like very it's like kind of the same in this game so it's where I get I just get a bit confused there's like an there's a blooming isn't there like a plant pack or kit I think I've got that blooming rooms or something yeah Ooh. Ooh. some nice hanging plants one hanging plant oh is that a hanging plant oh no that's like a floor plant how do, where are the plants? Is there like a plant category? Search for plants. What? 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 Plants? Outdoor plants. Oh, I 
I said this out, don't worry, then eat it all. Alright. Well, anyway, can I, like, filter by, like, hanging plant? Is that, that'd be kind of cool. Birthday, what? I don't know. I'm really just not vibing it. Ooh, this is cool. From the paranormal pack. A nice little hanging plant coming down there. I think that's kind of cool. What do we think? I want to do it symmetrically on each side. Oh, I like. Are there any recolors of this? Oh, there's a few. Uh, so we've got a light one at the moment. I kind of like the dark one. I don't know. Is that kind of weird or is that kind of cool? I don't know. I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> All right, lighting. Oh, not electrical. Sorry, lighting. Got to keep an eye on the budget. So we're at 10 grand and we've only done the bedroom. Not the best. So we need to maybe just put some lamps in and call it a day. Um, oh, you do these little candles. Um, sorry, can I place that in the middle? Why are the like, why are the little slot things so weird? Make it make sense. That's the one thing that just really grinds my gears. Oh, these are cool from the Plumbella pack. The, what's it called? Pastel pot. I remember now. I was having a mind blank. Um, ooh, why can't I place them in the middle? What is going on? It's just me. This video is just me jing up at The Sims 4. <laughs> Just discovering things that are annoying me. The f Why can't I place that on a table? So silly. It's the I'm in, literally in table lamp category. And it won't let me place half of these on the friggin' tables. What's going on? Absolutely ridiculous, if you ask me. Am I doing something wrong? Is this even a table? It's a nightstand. Yeah, friggin' bedside table. Why won't it? Oh. Let's just move on. Let's just do, oh God, what am I, why did I buy that? Let's get the bathroom done next. I like doing the bathrooms. Okay, plumbing. Okay, do we want like, do they have shower tub combos in this game? They do. Do they have nice shower tub combos? Not really. This one is, but obviously it's expensive. Um, Probably better off doing a separate one. Or oh, this one's like a shower tub combo, but like it's very um like medieval. So maybe not. Let's just pick a shower out. These are really cool. These ones that came with um, like the invisible showers. I love this sort of stuff. It's so cool. And then you could sort of like make a little built-in like walk-in shower. I think that's kind of cool. Cause like obviously the one, I don't know. The showers with the frames, like I get it. But like, I also don't get it. It's just, I like, it's a bit more minimal. Yeah. What if we did like a, a cool wall there or something? I don't know. Is that cool or what do we think? I think that's kind of like bougie. Is it just, oh, should I make it a little bit bigger? Mm, can't really. That's fine. All right, let's keep going. So we're in this category now, I guess. Bathroom, toilets. Wow, there's a lot of toilets. Um, raw toilet. Okay. That's a weird, weird name for a toilet, I guess. Um, what sort of vibe do you want to go for this bathroom? Definitely modern. I'm talking about color scheme. We'll just do like a nice... Plain toilet there. Do we want a bath? Can we afford to put one in? Rob's not, so let's not do that. Um, are there any cool like freestanding sinks? Some of the freestanding sinks are actually not that bad. See, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I like this one. Let's pick a recolor though that's going to look the best. Um, I don't know. I feel like I want to get two, but I oh know that doesn't look right. What if we did some cabinetry instead? So let's pick, this is just my bay, like my, sorry, my go-to basic cabinet, because I feel like it's kind of all you need, you know, <laughs> got a nice little drawer there and some cupboards. Honestly, what else could you really need? They need, sorry, they need more kitchen counters. Like you've got like what a thousand dollars worth of packs released and um, yeah, don't really have enough kitchen counters so not happy oh that's a nice little tap isn't it oh okay what about this one do we want to have a double sink i'm i'm picturing like a couple living in this house so i think a double sink could be kind of cool it's also very like light in this bathroom so is that like a problem or is that cool not too sure. Let's do that. 
And then, yeah, I don't know. I think, yeah, I think one sink will do us. Let's get a cool little mirror going. Oh, that's a nice mirror. Um, ooh, kind of cool. But I feel like, I feel like that light would just like annoy me. Oh, these are cool mirrors. Those are nice. Okay, I feel like we need to do a double sink. I really just want to get, oh, do they have any above counter sinks? Because I'm sorry, I would just die at that. Like, it's so stunning. Oh, I must need custom content. Like, see, like the one on this. Like, above counter. Like, oh. They're so cool. So, so cool. Yeah, honestly, Sims 4. Let's get some above counter sinks. Thank you very much. Um, This bathroom is also... I don't know. It's a little bit too white. So, I kind of want to warm it up a little bit. But I don't know how. Maybe we could change the wallpaper. So... Let's go into the tile category. What if we did, I, I feel like it needs a bit of wood. It needs a bit of, needs some wood paneling somewhere, but I don't know how to get it in. What if we did, yeah, no, I don't know. Is that kind of cool? Or is that a bit weird? I don't know, it's kind of cool, but like, I don't think, um, like the most important thing in the world. I don't know, it's something different, something nice, different, unusual. What if we did it matching with this instead? Just a little bit of interest in there. This is very dark in there. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, get a light in there. I don't know. I kind of don't know how I feel about the shower. I don't know. I think we'll, we'll just leave it. I think that's fine for now. All right, cool. How are we going for money? We've got $12,000. Yeah, we need to sort of try and reel it back in a little bit. Um, let's do the lounge room next. So sorry, I'm back. Just had a little bit of a break. We need a break sometimes. Um, so let's go and get this lounge room done. So it's kind of hard. We've got a lot of windows. So I'm like, well, where do we want to put the TV? Oh, sorry. I just like, swung the camera around. I definitely think we want to have like a nice, decent sized TV that's going to get us good fun. So this is obviously the cheapest option at fun five. And then, wow, they get really expensive. I feel like I th I've actually heard people talk about this as well. They need to adjust the the prices of these like items because like a two thousand five hundred dollar TV is a lot. It's a lot of money. So this is quite a cheap. Oh, there is cheaper ones actually. Are those the only TV stands that they've gone? Well, I want to go with our little modern theme. So we might need to must be placed on a wall. Ugh. Oh, there we go. It was like a floor mounted version. Okay. Well, let's do that. That's a nice start. Let's just find a recolor for this because I definitely want to have, I like the all oak one actually. That's kind of cool. And then we need to get a lounge. So we've got $15,000. We really need to just like not go too crazy with the lounges. All right. Surely there's some cheaper options. So these are sectional lounges. Oh my god, my cat is like meowing at my door. Why can't I just film my video in peace? No, it's cute. Bless him. But like, I'll go play with you later. <laughs> I need to film my video. These are kind of funky. Smoothly satisfying so far. That's kind of a funky lounge. I had a bit of a look around. I realized I was in the love seat category, but now we're in the main category. And I quite like these. They're pretty affordable. Like, I don't think they were that expensive. Yeah, they're $425. I just put the move objects sheet on just to sort of place them a bit easier. So it's 16,000. I don't want to put anything else in this room just yet. I do just want to get the kitchen and dining done. And then I definitely think if we have the money, we'll go back and add a few things. Like, it'd be really cool to be able to add in like a desk or something. Um, and like a book, book, well, I was trying to say bookshelf and case. Book shelf slash bookcase. Um, in the lounge room as well. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go do the kitchen now. So let's go jump into the kitchen category. And we decided we wanted it to be here. So I definitely really like the plain counters. Um, how much are they? So you're 150. What are the recolors? Like, are there any nice wooden ones? Like, I'd love a wooden cabinetry one. And I feel like if they don't have that, that's a really missed opportunity. Yeah, of course, it's a missed opportunity. They don't have one. So annoying. This has got wood on it, but like, oh, not really. I mean, you know what I mean? It's got like, <laughs> it's not even wood. It's like got a nice, well, it's got a nice stone. I like that. So that's an option. And then what's the next option? Maybe this one from Dream Home Decorator. I quite like this one. 
I think that's really nice. Um, so we might do just like this and then maybe we'll have stove. Like we'll have the stove there and the fridge there. All right, I just don't know how to navigate and get back to you. Here we go. We can also have separate like stove and everything now, which is really cool. So we love that. All right, that's a, that's such a nice oven and it's so affordable as well. Like I literally can't deal with how affordable that is. Very nice. Well, maybe we'll get that, but then we also, we have to get the separate cooktop. So it is definitely cheaper to just get, you know, a good old one of these, <laughs> the yum cooker. <laughs> but I mean, like, why does it have to be so gross? Can't I get like a nice one? I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we can go back and add some, I'm um, sorry, make some upgrades if we have a bit of money, then we'll do that. But um, it's just a basic little fridge. This one's quite cool. So the kit, it's not going to be anything crazy. It's just enough for us to sort of function and be a starter home. So that's a good one. So the Chris Box Budget Deluxe, that could be a nice one to start with. And this is also a cool sort of starter fridge as well. How much was that? It's 500. I actually kind of prefer the, that one. Uh, we'll see. There's obviously some other ones here, but this one looks kind of cheap. So I actually quite like the one that we've picked. Do we want to do any recolors with this? Maybe we could get it to sort of match. I don't know. I mean, match is, I'm using the word match very loosely because it doesn't really match, but we're just trying to make the best of what we can. That's a nice kitchen sink. Um, I just feel like we need a little bit more preparation space. So that's why I kind of think, yeah, I kind of think we need to move this down a little bit. I think, yeah, I think we need to get a couple more cabinetry, a bit of cap, a bit more cabinetry in, sorry, is what I'm trying to say. But I'm just trying to lay out this room. I think the, the fridge would be cool on this side. And then I like the idea of maybe the sink not being next to the stove. Okay, let's try this. Okay, is that better? I don't know. I kind of, let's see, is that enough to fit another counter? This. Oh, actually, is that clipping? Oh, it is clipping. Oh, it's because I can't move objects on. I'm like very confused. Um, okay, there we go. So that could be an option, but like, I just feel like that's not really needed. And then we're really sacrificing the dining space. So let's not do that. Let's delete those. Okay. We could try an island. We could get the matching island color. Um, maybe just in the middle here. I don't know how that would really look. <laughs> no, it doesn't quite look right. Um, I feel like the fridge needs to be here. And like, I know it's not, I just think that makes a little bit more sense. It's a very difficult space to work with actually. I don't know if we're on the right track or not. Um, let's just leave that for now. And then maybe we'll put the dining table in and see what we can do. I might be able to get away with an extra cabinet here. I could live with that, I think. And then this can be like the dining area. All right, anyway, let's just go and buy a dining table now. So let's go and find the dining category where we are. Beautiful. All right, so what sort of size are we looking at? I think that it's definitely a small space. So nothing crazy. Like I, I, I oh, sorry, <laughs> picks the craziest one. Um, I think two tile wide is potentially pushing it. Like I actually think a single, like a circular table, or like a single table is going to be the best bet for us. Um, this one I was quite drawn to. So maybe we could try this one. Um, so that's from Snowy Escape. A lot of the stuff I'm picking is actually from Snowy Escape, which is interesting. It's got a nice, nice style to it all. Okay. Let's try and pick some nice um, matching little, oh, those are really nice chairs. And they're bloody affordable too, $80, wow. All right, so how are we liking this area so far? I just don't know. It just looks a little bit funny, I don't know. I think that, okay, I'm just not happy with it. I'm really not. What if we did like a galley and then what if we did like an island or something? Does that, oh, I got move objects on, I was gonna say, does this work if I push this in? All right, let's try. Damn it. Move it in a bit more. 
something like this I could see working a bit better, but it's just means that we might need to bring that forward a bit. But then I don't know if that's really a good idea. But I think it's going to have to be a good idea. What do you think about that? I think that could work. Um, we just need to sort of position this in a way that the table doesn't quite clip. I don't know. We'll have to, we will play a test it to make sure it all works, but I think that's a nice, decent starter space for now. All right. So we've got $18,600. I definitely want something else in this lounge room, but I just don't know what we could do. Um, definitely a bookshelf. I, I did decide on that. So we'll go and pick a bookshelf out. Um, what are our options? Wow. There actually are some very nice ones. That's kind of cool. Very bougie. Um, oh, some of these are really cool. I love some, some of the items in this game are just, wow, chef's kiss. It's definitely so much nicer than, um, like, obviously the styles evolved, but like the Sims 2, like all that stuff was in style at the time, but now I'm just like, wow, <laughs> this stuff's so much nicer. Ooh, what's this one? Zen bookcase. That's kind of cool, but I don't know if it really fits the style of what we're going for. I can picture something a little bit more like this. I can really see that being lovely. Um, but the question is, where are we going to put it? Because there's not much room. Maybe here. But then does that kind of cut the room off a bit? Or are we all right with that? A little bookshelf there. Just scoot that in just like ever so slightly. I feel like I need to use alt to place those. I do know. I do know a few things. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, I just think that this is just a little bit bland here. So like, what do we need to get like a lamp or like a wall art or something? Like I actually don't really know. Um, we'll go into decor and paintings and posters and see if we can find anything cool that would look nice on the wall. Um, oh, wow. They're really expensive. I don't know what to, oh. some of the things I'm clicking on. It's just not registering when I click. I don't understand what the go is with that. Um, oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Love that. Is there any cool recolors in that? Oh, wow, there is. Um, wow, this, this is a really nice artwork. Very versatile. Um, oh, I don't really know what to, which one to go with. That's kind of cool. Want a bit of greenery because there's not really any greenery in this room. Actually, yeah, that's what this room's missing, some plants and stuff. So let's go indoor plants and try and see what we can get in this room. Um, I think maybe a plant here or here would be kind of cool. Um, this entryway, do we think this entryway is a waste? I kind of think it's a little bit of a waste of money. Um, I could definitely see us getting rid of this. And then just having the front door. What do we think? And then just deleting this whole like room. Oh, I mean, I didn't mean to delete the door, but how do I delete that room? Okay. What do we think? Is that a little bit like, yeah, we've got a little bit more money to play with now. Okay. Interesting tea. Oh, God, I don't need the help center. Thank you very much. Two. Oh, no, nah, we'll just do one. One little window there. Okay, we've got a bit more money now. I'm going to pick some stuff off camera because, like, I'm obviously discovering a lot of the this category now. So let me try and pick some stuff out that's, you know, tickling my fancy and I'll be back. All right, so here's what I've done to this lounge room area so far. I updated this artwork here and changed it up. We've also got this cute lamp, which I'm happy with. And then I can't remember if I showed this off, but I placed that plant in the corner. I thought that looked nice. And then in the bedroom here, we just added in this little planter. I thought that was kind of cute. And then just a desk space as well. But I'm not 100% sold on this chair choice. I don't know. It's just screaming out that it's not quite right. So I don't know. We need to pick a different chair. There's some really nice chairs in this game. Like I'm actually so jealous. Um, do we have a darker version of this? Because like obviously that's the matching one to the dining room. That's one we just chose. Um... No, it's kind of hard. It's I want something that's giving like office-esque kind of vibes, like, you know, of an office -y chair. 
I don't like the cushion on that dark red color though. That's really annoyed me. Let's delete that. Um, I don't know. What about just a plain? Yeah. What about something like that? Actually, there's a nice red color for this. Black. Mm. I don't know. We'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. I don't mind it. Um, we've got about five, less than $500. I just want to get some detail in the kitchen. So I moved that painting in there and changed it to that. But that was a nice option. So I just want to see like what decorations there are for the kitchen. So obviously I don't fully know my way around all of this, but obviously there's a cute planter there. I'm assuming that this stuff's all like, um, what's the word? Um, kitcheny decor, sorry, because I'm um, obviously we're in the kitchen category. So who knows, but I don't know. Some cool, some cool decor. I do want it to be practical though. Like, could we get some smaller appliances? They're going to make things a bit easier for us. Like, I don't quite know. Oh, that kettle is so nice. Stunning. Um, maybe a microwave would be kind of handy. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think more practical because obviously this, I want this starter home to be as practical as possible. I also think that sink needs to be in the middle. I don't know why it wasn't to begin with. Um, no, let's leave it there because then they can prep sort of like here. Happy with that. Oh, we need a bin. That's important. Um, let's get a bin. Do we want to get like a built-in one, like a trash compactor kind of vibes, or what are we going to do? Do they even have trash compactors in this game? I'm assuming they're in this category. Wow, I really don't think they do. That's really odd. Um, anyway. God, where am I going to put this bin? Jesus Christ. I don't know. Oh my God, that's so stupid. Do they, do they actually not have built-in bins or am I just having a moment? Am I not being able to find it in the right category or something? So I just realized I haven't saved. So let's just quickly save. Um, yeah, they don't have any. That's so ridiculous. Um, okay, well, let's get a bin. Do we need to, oh my God, do I need to buy an outdoor bin as well? Is that a thing? That's silly. It should come as standard. Um, not impressed. How about we just do it here and then just like, yeah, actually, and try and tuck it like right in there. Hopefully it won't cause any issues. Um, are you kidding me that I have to buy a friggin outdoor trash bin? What a joke. Um, oh, I wanted to do like a little courtyard area. We don't really have the money though. Sad. Let's just go and put that there. Oh my God. See, that was too much money. Stupid bin. Do you have any cheap outdoor bins? Why, why do we have to buy outdoor bins in this game? That is ridiculous. Is this like an outdoor bin? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. It should say like outdoor bin, indoor bin or something. I'm assuming these are outdoor ones because they're a bit further down, but then that looks like an indoor one. Features large capacity, what? I don't know. Let's just, I'm just gonna leave that. All right, so we have a hundred, less than a hundred dollars. Um, let's just try and make this house come together slightly. So let's do a little bit of terrain painting. Maybe we'll get some pavement and then just get some sort of like a little path. Um, what type of path do we want to go with? What was that? The stone and pavement, dirt and sand. Do we just want to have a little dirt path or something? I don't mind. I really don't mind at all. Okay. And then we've got about a hundred dollars. I definitely want to get something out the back here. Um, is there like a basic yeah, outdoor? Oh, oh, it's like concrete and stuff. You're joking. That costs money. What's cost money, baby? What do you mean? All right, well, that's half the price. Let's just get a gravel thing out there. Happy with that. And then we have, oh, I just want to use up all our money. Is there anything else that we could potentially need? Like, oh my God, we need a toilet roll. That's functional. We love that. Is it under accents, I'm assuming? Where is the little toilet roll thing? Yeah. $50. I can't afford it. Oh my God. You're bloody kidding me. All right, well, I'm gonna have to delete something to fit a toilet roll in. $14 over budget. Um, okay. We probably don't need that many lights in this room because we also have a lamp now, so. Actually, you know what? We really don't need two lights in every room. Like why was I doing that sort of stuff? And then I do need that though, because it's really dark. Unless we want to get a window instead, that could actually be a bit nicer. 
like if we got a nice little window up here, like up a bit higher. Yeah, that's actually nice. I will do that. Okay. And then same in this room. We'll delete. Just get one nice little light. Perfect. We've got a bit more money now. All right. Well, what am I going to do with my last bit of money? All right. I think we'll definitely need a smoke alarm. I kind of, that was a bit of an oversight. So let's get that. And then we still got a bit of money. No, I can't get a thermostat. I don't know. I just want to like try and get absolutely everything that we would need for a house and like not have to spend any money when we first move in. I don't know what to do. We've got a bookcase. We could just get something like maybe some plants. What about some plants in the backyard? Outdoor plants? Where are they? Um, oh, the big tree. Okay. Well, that's a bit confusing then, isn't it? How much is this sort of stuff? It's pretty cheap. So maybe we'll just get like some cute little, little, little bits and bobs out here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, little, I don't know. I'll pick something cute. Okay. I think it's perfect. So we got two little like shrubby flower things out here. And then we've got a nice big, beautiful tree here, which I think rounds it all out nicely. And we've ended on 1900, sorry, $19,999, which I think is an awesome amount of money to end on. So I'm very happy with that. So let's do a bit of a tour. So this is our little starter home here. Oh, it, oh please tell me roofing is free. Okay, good. I didn't roof it. Is there not an auto roof option in this game? Oh, do I seriously have to roof this place myself? That's a bit annoying. Um, that's all right. We'll have a go at, at, I need to get better at roofing things. Can I make that a little bit like not as, yeah, I think it's cute. <laughs> um, and then, and I've watched people do roofing so many times and I still hate it. I still don't know what I'm doing. I feel like that needs to come through and then, okay. And then go back. And then how do I get this little bit here? Do I just do is that what we do? I don't know. I am learning guys. Give me a break. I had, <laughs> oh my God, this looks horrible. What the hell? How am I supposed to make this look nice? Obviously that's the obvious solution to me, but is that kind of, I, th I think that's kind of cool. Cause then like, look, the roof line there, it kind of lines up a little bit with the um, front door. So, oh my God, is this going to cost me money? Okay. No, it didn't. Okay, that's fine. So do the back. Okay, sweet. Um, I definitely don't like this roof. Um, how do I, how do you do roofing in this game? I'm so confused. How do I pick like a cute roof? Okay, I think I figured it out. I just changed it up and I also added in a, um, what's it called, a roof trim. I don't know if I've, I don't know if I'm that crash hot on the color I've chosen. Oh, sorry, the, I mean the roof tile I've chosen. Maybe we'll just go with this one. But I'm really happy with how this looks. I don't, why is that a different color? Oh, never mind. It's because it was selected. I'm so happy with how this has turned out, like in all seriousness. Like for a first build, like not too shabby at all. Like I'm very impressed. So anyway, I want to try and wrap this up before an hour. So let's have a little bit of a look inside and go on a bit of a tour. So we started off in our nice master bedroom, which I think is actually probably the most furnished room out of everything. Um, there's a lot of plants, not going to lie to anyone. I kind of wanted to get um, some more, like I don't wanted to get lamps in here, but like I even am trying right now, for example, and like I can't get, I can't get the table lamps on there. I don't know if it's a glitch. I'm very confused. But anyway, so this is our nice uh, main bedroom looking really nice. I've gone for a bit more of a moody sort of theme in here. Um, I love the paneling detail on the wall there. A lot of natural light, which I think is cool. We'll definitely, oh, I didn't get curtains there, but like, oh, it's fine. Who cares? Um, and then we've got a nice basic bathroom. It's got everything we sort of need. We've got a nice double sink if we have a, you know, a miss, like, you know, I was about to say Mr. and Mrs. Um, if we have a couple, you know, Mr. Mr. Miss, Miss, anyone, anything, anything, anyone can use this bathroom. Okay. It's got two sinks, two Sims, brother and sister, anyone. So it's fine. Brother and brother. This is anyway, shut up Ben. Um, anyway, it's very white and like, it's quite pale, um, pale. Wow. That's a weird way to describe that. A bathroom. It's very, um, pastel is what the word I was looking for, but that's not even the right word to describe the bathroom. So I don't know what I'm really going on about right now, but, um, it's, it's just, look, it's very cool. I like the contrast because it's obviously quite dark in a lot of these rooms. So um, yeah, I think it was a nice decision. And then I love the decision we've gone with the main areas with this nice stucco on the walls. I think that's really nice. And then we've got our main little, 
um, what's it called, lounge area. Uh, we've got a nice little TV, a nice decent TV that's going to get us enough fun. Two cute love seats as well. We've got a nice little bit of a tree there, some, you know, some greenery, a nice bookshelf as well. And we've also got a light there, a little floor lamp. We've got a nice functional kitchen here. I think this is definitely giving us what we need uh, from the space. We've also got a microwave and a smoke alarm, which is good. And a nice little four seat at dining area too. And a nice little courtyard out there to expand. So yeah, I'm very happy with how this has all turned out. I'm, I'm loving it. Um, make sure I'll upload it to the gallery. I've never uploaded anything to the gallery before. I also want to change my username. I don't know if you can do it, but I want to make it Baden Singh YT. At the moment, it's just Baden Singh. So I don't know. I'll try and do it after this video. But if you can't find Baden Singh YT, maybe just try Baden Singh. Um, and I'm sure something will come up. But um, I will have to update the gallery and put my little, my little like, you know, YouTube thumbnail on it. So you'll know that it's me. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to have my first little upload to the gallery. And yeah, it's the first build in The Sims 4, a nice starter home. And I hope we can feature this in one of our scenarios or some of our Sims 4 content will definitely feature this house. So I don't want to call it something. What should we call it? I'll do earthy, oh, wow. earthy starter home. Cute. I don't know. It's not really that earthy, but I just picked earthy colors. So um, also I don't, you can't really see the windows here, but there are windows to this bathroom. So I don't know. I wish we could make that a little bit nicer somehow, but that's okay. Maybe, maybe as time goes on, we'll be able to save up some money. And if we ever play in this house and we can add a few things to it. Um, but I also have launched an Instagram. If you guys wanted to follow that as well, uh, it's just Bain Singh YT. I'm just posting little like, you know, snippets of upcoming videos so you can get check that out um and you also know exactly when the video is going to be coming out which is fun um but yeah make sure if you haven't already remember to like when and subscribe I actually just hit 500 subscribers which i'm so happy about um so thank you so much for all of your you know support and um you know it's very appreciated so thank you um so yeah that's a nice little milestone. I'm very happy with that. But yeah, as I said, like, comment, subscribe. Remember to leave any comments, suggestions, or feedback down below for me as well. Make sure you also comment um, in particular in The Sims 4 if there's any challenges or builds, um, anything you'd like to see us have a go at. Someone also recommended a scenario that we do, but I think it's been removed. Like, because there's sometimes some of them are limited time. So I think we missed out on that one, which is a bit sad, but I'll have to pick another scenario. If there's any fun scenarios you think that I would enjoy, um, you guys know my game style. I don't really like anything that's going to, I like to have it just, you know, within a little hour video. Um, and I really like all the, I like the grindy kind of videos, but not too grindy in the terms of like, it's going to take me like a week because that'll be a bit hard. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this build. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions about it. I like the color scheme that we went with. I thought it was just a bit of fun, a bit earthy, a bit, you know, I don't know. I'm just gassing myself up. Anyway. I'll see you guys all in the next video and I hope you have a lovely day. Let's get a little nice shot of the, there we go. Beautiful. All right. See you guys.